There we determined that it was more than likely a gunshot wound. Only on to a string of attacks on our symbol of freedom. Wildlife agents across the state investigating bald eagle poaching. Just last week, an eagle was found injured in a Delaware County field. But as Two Works For You reporter Travis Guillory shows us, it isn't the only attack on our national bird this year. Game warden Marnie Loftus spent her weekend working a call on an injured bald eagle in a Delaware County field. I take all injured wildlife to Wild Heart Ranch because they're our wildlife rehabil our main wildlife rehabilitator for this area. But with the federally protected birds like bald eagles, um, we typically take those on to the Tulsa Zoo because they actually have a veterinarian on staff that can take care of them. There, officials determined the eagle suffered from a gunshot wound. For some people, it's a game just to see what they can kill. Uh, I know that's kind of sad and demented, but that, that is what we have to deal with a lot of times. The eagle was hit right here on the tip of its wing, but because this is one of the primary feathers, part of that wing will have to be amputated and the eagle will likely never be able to fly again. We can collect a lot of evidence from the animal itself, but without good information from the public, sometimes there's just not a lot we can do. The Wildlife Department is investigating at least two other bald eagle poaching incidents in northeast Oklahoma, a growing roster of federal offenses. That's why Loftus urges anyone with information to contact the Wildlife Department. Cash reward on something like a bald eagle can be fairly substantial. Once cleared by the vet, the eagle will return to Wild Heart Ranch, where the group will work on her recovery and eventual transfer to a captive eagle program. Those responsible for the shooting could face a fine up to $5,000. In Delaware County, Travis Guillory, Two Works for You.